Greetings and salutations. I'm Big Brother. Here to talk to you about stuff that I've sold. I uh, hope you guys can glean some information off this. A reminder, every Tuesday and Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern, I have uh, auctions, a sale, pretty much. Uh, Sundays is uh, anything goes, and Tuesdays is my ephemera. And this is some of the things that I've sold on my ephemera days. Uh, I am known for selling the uh, 1800s, early 1900s, the Victorian and Gregorian times. Uh, occasionally, I have something older from the 1700s. I might show it, but uh, nobody can really afford those on the channel. So, uh, you know, I, I like selling this stuff, and uh, people like buying this stuff. I also sell a lot of books, especially the old books. So, uh, my prices are very reasonable, too. I'm like the dollar store of auctions. Anyway. Here's for nautical uh, jour uh, journals. Uh, they're mostly words inside, but there are some pretty cool pictures. Of course, uh, they're, they're wanting you to buy some stuff. As you can see, the spines are in good condition. I mean, it's 1876, so what do you expect? And here's some of the illustrations. I like to show them in the advertisements. So, uh... These went to Canada, full asking price. Took about three weeks to get to Canada. Thank you very much, eh? Uh, these were at a, probably the bottom of a, a box. A lot of stuff that I buy. And when I say a lot, that's usually a, a box. Uh, so, uh, with all different kinds of stuff. And, you know, I'll buy buy boxes of all different kinds of stuff for like ten dollars or less and i showed those videos on my instagram and youtube please follow anyway these are about three inches across i looked up around copenhagen people are wanting like 40 and 50 dollars for these things and they're not worth it come on people you gotta come back to earth and your stuff will sell if you sell at a reasonable price Uh, at auction, of course, I purchased probably a 40, maybe 45 bears for around $20. I think it was $22.50. Anyway, I put all the mohairs together. Here they are. And I sold them out there. I put them out there for $59, or best offer, and I took an offer of $45. Uh, yeah, it, it's maybe it's not what you're selling. It's how you're selling them. A lot of them together if you got enough for a lot. If you don't, put something off to the side and wait until you do. If uh, See, I, I have access to do that thing. Not everybody can. But if there's auctions around you, I highly suggest you go check them out. Uh, I don't care much for online sales. I'd rather do it in person. But like I said, not everybody has access to do that the kind of thing. But I do. American Girl. Been selling American Girl for a couple of years. I sold all the most expensive quick selling stuff already a couple of years ago, and this is all the stuff that uh, I would have uh, left over. I'm cleaning, I'm cleaning out my old house and remodeling it, and I'm coming across this stuff. I list it and hope it sells, and it did. I had a whole bunch of different kinds of dolls. I've always done this. You rip their heads off and sell their heads. You take their clothes off, sell their clothes. Take their arms off and sell the arms in lots. I've not had much success selling torsos and legs. Uh, yeah, only conversations resellers should have, right? Uh, so give that a go, you know. If, if you're just going to toss them away, or whatever, just rip them apart, you know. Parts and repair. Paul Tuckett G.I. Joe. It's from Paul Tuckett, Rhode Island. If you look on his butt cheek, uh, I believe it's his right butt cheek. I could be wrong. Uh, it'll say Paul Tuckett, and that's how you know a Paul Tuckett G.I. Joe. This is all D-Day, and you had to buy all this extra stuff. Then he put it all in one box. I did buy this from a, a, a private pick. 
I uh, had three of them. I've sold two for 20 bucks each so far. Uh, I had two different lots of these. Um, yeah, I, I sold this one for 40 on a best offer, and I sold the other ones for 35 and there was only eight of those. But they sold rather quickly, I must say, so they must be hot. Unless people are using them for uh, props. They're kind of dangerous for Halloween props, I'm just saying. Uh, this is left over from my adulthood. Uh, I put it out there for 60 bucks because not everybody has the box. As a matter of fact, I was the only one with a box. And I figured the box is worth some money because this thing is from uh, 1999. So, uh, yeah, I put it out there. You know, these were mine at one time. And just getting rid of the stuff. I don't need it anymore. Here's all those clothes I told you about. Uh, they're Beauty and the Beast here. I've got this is Beauty and the Beast. That's a, I think that's a Babe Ruth doll from the movie. Here's some G.I. Joe clothing, a space suit for G.I. Joe, and here's some Barbie stuff in the back. So I just throw it all out there. Uh, I got a best offer of 25 on everything. I'm happy with that, considering I have next to nothing in them. Uh, please go check out Pressed Coins. Look on the sold comps of Pressed Coins. Uh, yeah, just, just look them up. This is from Statue of Liberty, Bedlow Island. Uh, they sold them almost immediately. Did I, was I selling them too cheap? I don't care. I didn't have but maybe a dollar or two into them and I sold it. And I bought them with a bunch of other things that I flipped for over 200 so I'm okay. Uh, you know, you don't need to maximize every single little thing, right? You know, there's got to be a little give and take. This is the garage sale of uh, platforms, right? So, treat it like a garage sale. Price your stuff up a little higher, not much. Uh, usually, price mine up. Five to ten dollars more than I think it should fetch. If somebody wants to offer me something and if it's within that range, I'll take it. Otherwise, I'll take ten bucks off and send out offers for that. And that's how I do that. And I sell stuff. And I'm not having problems selling things. So, yeah. Anyway, I comp this one to between 55 and 75. 75 for the ones in pristine condition. I put it out there for 55 or best offer. It's got a bent tip. <laughs> and uh, a noticeable scratch here in the bottom, if you can see, along with a little dent. So I figured it was about 45 bucks, and that's what I got for it. So, yeah. This thing's only about six inches tall. Uh, another mo or not mohair, another uh, Boyd's Bear with uh, tags. Um, I had the honey pot. I'm not even sure if the honey pot goes with this bear, to be honest with you. But I sold it with the bear, and I think that's what helped sell it. And it was a stupidly low price, like 24 25 bucks. But, uh, you know, I've, I've already more than made up uh, my money. I'm into the three and four and five times the amount stuff already. Uh, here's a bunch of... Uh, lures and uh, I just throwing them out to auction this stuff is from my grandfather's and my father's and mine all of them mixed together I didn't really know what to do didn't know how to move them the only thing I know how to move is merchandise and there we go throw it out there on auction I'm happy with any price I can get out of them uh, there we go just a bunch of random things thrown out there uh, Republican or Democrat, don't care. Their money spends the same. This is just an empty mint tin. Something obscure, but now um, somebody that probably collects this kind of merchandise now has it in their collection. And I got $10 for this 
what other people would consider trash. So there you go. Uh, yep, yep, more boys bears. These are only about seven, eight inches tall. They're not as big as they look in the picture. Uh, you know, just take pictures of them all. They all had their tags. Uh, they all sold pretty quick. I took full asking price of 25 for them all. So, you know, I'm, I'm definitely making money off all the bears. Uh, here's a bunch of doll shoes. I'm like I said, I'm getting out of the doll market. It's a dying market. Uh, the kind of dolls I'm talking about are the old dolls, the ones you guys call creepy. I call them expensive. Uh, got full asking price, twenty dollars. Condition notes that there's no guarantee to have a matching pair, and they took it. So there you go. And this is just an old coin, a uh, 50-year-old coin, uh, celebrating Packard's 50 years from 1899 to 1949. Uh, I took an offer of $14 for that one. This up to auction. I knew it was worth some money and because it was made of wood and it's really old as far as lures go. Uh, I know for a fact this one belonged to my grandfather. But that's all cleaned up, and you can see how it's still faded. And I did sell it for restoration, because it needs some restoration love. So, I got 11 bucks out of it. Not bad. Not bad at all. There, there are places you can look these up. There's a river runt. River runt. Uh, both of them caught bass before. Fish tested, fishermen approved. Um, yeah, you know, making anything off these auctions, I'm fine with it. At least they sold for something higher than my starting bid, which is 99 cents. And the last thing I'm going to show you are these uh, plastic D&D miniatures. I've got a bunch of snakes on this side and a bunch of cobra snakes on that side and then we've got the leader which is a giant centipede uh so them all uh took a best offer of 25 bucks on everything they shipped for under four ounces and uh, there we go so uh that's what i got for you Remember, if you're suffering sales, maybe it's not what you're selling. Maybe it's how you're selling it. Take better pictures, better close-ups. Should be your primary picture. Everybody says nobody looks at the description and all that anymore. So your pictures have to sell. Get close-ups. Make that your first picture. Oh, you'll figure it out. I'm doing fine. No slowdown in sales here. Anyway, uh, that's what I got for you guys. Everybody stay profitable and uh, ta-ta for now. Peace.